processing a pay run in Sage Payroll. In this video, we'll show you how to process your payroll. We'll cover the following steps. Confirming and changing your pay date and pay calendar settings. Retrieving your revenue payroll notification, also known as the RPN. Processing your payments and deductions. Finalising your pay run, including sending your payroll submission to revenue. Any additional tasks once your payroll has been completed. Let's get started. When you first log into payroll, you'll see an overview of the next pay run, including the pay date, an estimated employee and employer cost, and how many employees will be included within the pay run. The estimated values are based on your payments and deductions from your last completed pay run, so these values are subject to change. You can begin processing your pay run from the Summary tab or the Pay Runs tab. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll start in Summary. To start processing your payroll, click Process Pay Run. Step 1 of your pay run is to confirm your pay date. The date is automatically set for you based on your calendar settings. The pay date should be the date you are paying your employees, not the date you are processing the pay run. To amend the pay date manually, click here. You aren't able to select any dates outside of the current tax period, meaning you can't skip a pay period. If you'd like to amend your payday calendar settings, click Settings, then click Payday Settings. You can add a new pay calendar or manage your current pay frequencies. To edit a current frequency, click Edit Paydays. Make any necessary changes and click Save. Next time you process your pay run, the date will be automatically set based on your changes, meaning you don't have to amend this date each time you run your payroll. To continue with your payroll, click Next. Step 2 of your pay run is to retrieve your RPN. Once you have confirmed your pay date in Step 1 of the pay run, You'll be prompted for your details for Revenue's online service. If this is your first pay run, you should browse to your digital certificate. If this is not your first pay run, the digital certificate appears automatically. This will be remembered from your previous pay run. If at any point you have a new digital certificate from Revenue, you can manage your certificates here. Once you have entered the most recent details, Click Login. The system will connect you to ROS to retrieve your RPN. If you receive an error message, you can troubleshoot using our help guide. Click Help at the top of your payroll, then choose Submissions from the menu on the left. The Errors section contains a troubleshooting guide and a help article, including the possible errors and how to fix them. Once the RPN has been retrieved, you can check each employee using the list on the left. Here you will see confirmation of any new details imported from ROS. To continue with your pay run, click Next. Entering your pay information. In Step 3 of the pay run, you can enter your payments and deductions. You can see your employee list on the left. On the right, you will see the payments and deductions assigned to the selected employees and their current net pay due. Any important messages or information regarding the selected employee will appear here. If this isn't your first pay run, the information you entered in the last pay run will automatically appear. If the payment and deduction values are the same for this pay run, no changes are required. If the pay values differ from the last pay run, amend the existing payments here. To add a new payment, hover over Add Payment and choose an existing payment or set up a new one. Please note, salary payments enable you to enter one lump sum, whereas hourly payments will provide boxes for both a number of hours and an hourly rate. For more information about the different types of payments, please visit the Help Centre by clicking the Help button at the top of your screen. In the Deductions section, you'll see Statutory Deductions. 
Any statutory deductions calculate automatically and are based on legislation, payment settings and employee information entered. These deductions cannot be changed manually. To add a new deduction, hover over Add Deduction, choose an existing one or set up a new deduction. To edit an existing deduction, amend the values here. If you'd like to add a message to the payslip, click here. If your employee is remaining in your employment but isn't due any money this pay period, you can select this checkbox to exclude them from this pay run. If you need to add a new starter to this pay run, click Create Employee. It is important that all employees appear here, as once you've finished and finalised your pay run, you can't add new employees to that pay run. Any changes you have made are automatically saved. Therefore, if you need to exit the pay run and return later to continue, you will not lose any data you've entered. Make sure you check each employee on the left before moving on to the next step. When you're ready to finalise the pay run, click Next. Completing your pay run. In step 4, you can review the employee pay using a detailed report and view draft pay slips. You can also see an employee breakdown here. To view your detailed report, click here. This report will break down the following information. An employee pay slip summary, a breakdown of payments and deductions, employer costs, revenue totals, and payment method information. Check you're happy with these values before completing your pay run. If you'd like to view draft pay slips for all employees, click here. Alternatively, you can view these one by one using this link. These pay slips are draft pay slips and are for your information only. They should not be distributed to your employees. Employee pay slips are available in the next step of your pay run. To finalise your pay and submit the values to revenue, click Complete Pay Run. You'll be prompted for your details for ROS. Once you've entered the details here, click Login. You will now see the completed pay run screen. You can check if your payroll submission has been successful here. Let's take a look at the next steps of your pay run. In this section, we'll cover producing your pay slips, running your liability report. Let's start with producing your pay slips. You can distribute pay slips to your employees by printing them or emailing them. To view, print or save all pay slips, click here. To do this for each employee individually, click this icon. To email all pay slips at once, click here. Each employee will receive their own pay slip only. To email each employee individually, click this icon. If you don't see this icon next to an employee, their record is not set up for emailing pay slips. You can edit the employee record to rectify this. Your liability report shows what you owe to revenue and is only available once all of the pay runs have been completed for the reporting period. To check your chosen revenue reporting frequency, go to Settings and then Payroll Settings. To run this report, click Pay Runs and select any pay run within the tax month or quarter. In the completed pay run screen, the link appears here. You can also run this report from the Summary tab. If the link does not appear, you have not completed all of the pay runs within the tax month or quarter. This report shows a breakdown of your liabilities. Your payment due to revenue shows here. You can record the payment you have made to ROS here. If you have Sage Accounting and you've set up payroll integration, this payment will be posted to Sage Accounting. You can find more payroll reports in the drop-down menu. If you require further help, you can browse and search our Help Centre by clicking the Help option at the top of your payroll. 
You have now learned how to process your payroll in Sage Payroll.